Good morning. I wanted to show you how I make my drinking cup holder foraging item. It is a lot of fun for me. The birds love it. I don't even use cups to feed them anymore. This is all I use. They have to hunt for it and look for the food. And if it's not all chewed up, I can always refill it. So we'll start with tools. Always have a needle nose. I always have a hole punch, scissors. My little screwdriver is fantastic for punching holes. Um, flat nose pliers, wonderful for zip ties. And of course, the crocodile. I love this. It, it's a big hole punch. That's about all I use it for. There's two different settings up here for, for holes. You can see them down here. Um, there's many other things it can do, but that's all I use it for. So what I do is I bought, I don't know, I think 75 of these drink holders on Websterant um, for seven bucks, I think. It was real cheap, and they are biodegradable. They're safe for the birds. I absolutely love them. What I always start with is I grab one of these and then I punch holes wherever I want and usually I fill this up like you saw so real easy to punch holes through them not a big deal after we get all the holes punched I get all my zip ties that I need or more and I'm sure you remember from the last video I got all of these off of Oriental Trading they're pressed wood so they are not safe for birds, but I hide them and use them as anchors. So what I do is I personally use a lot of muffin cups. These are fantastic. I poke a hole in here, a hole punch. I always keep one at the bottom because of these holes. I don't like the food falling out. So take my zip tie, put my anchor on, just put it through the hole I've already punched. Then I put my cup in there. So now it's ready to go in case I put food in here. When I put food in here, it won't fall through the holes and I won't waste it. Well, obviously I've taken a few steps forward and what I do here is I make like a puff that you guys would use for toys hanging toys and I put it in here because when I'm finished all of these places are great little hiding spots for food and then they can chew this up while they are using it so let me just finish this one with you And I put as many as you want. I always make it a little loose. As you can see, the cup is still down here. Um, the cupcake holder is still down here. And then if you want, you can add these little biodegradable cups with or without the lid. Um, if your bird is new to this, go ahead and punch holes in here. Then they'll see what the fun stuff we're going to put in there at the end. Nothing spectacular, but then they can see the holes and eat through it and know to go in it. More holes, better for new birds. So, what I'll do now is put a little bit of shred in here, again, to hide the food when we're done. I always put a cover on it, one kind of cover to get it around so the birds don't see it. And now what do I do? I just push it down as far as I want. Again, if they're new to foraging, keep this a lot looser. Mine are used to it, so I get it nice and tight. Uh, and that's totally up to you how you want to do it.
so that one's done. I did this one, the same concept, a little looser, and I just put a palm flower on it. Here's another one I did. Mine like corn husks and the yucca plant, so I did it that way. Here's another. I love these. My birds love these. I got these on eBay. Um, I'll have to find the link. They take a long time to get here, but the birds love them. They are all natural. So what I do here with these is I fill it a little bit full of shred. We use Nutriberries as treats myself. Um, so then I put, I don't know, three, four treats in here. Put a little shred on top. And they come with these great covers. So I find the middle. There. And then because I don't want the top of the zip tie to fall through, I always put something on top of these. Just again to anchor it. So now this is a step that is fantastic. You can leave it just like this if you want. You can throw food anywhere in here. For me, I go a little bit further. Excuse me. So, I add, here's another small one of these cups. I also add, these are little peanut containers. I can add treats or food. I got these off Amazon, I think. They're fantastic. You can use them for hanging toys, or for me, I like using them in my foraging. So I added that. I folded these finger traps and put them in the side. I have these cups I purchased in the same website as I got the other stuff. And then I fill it with a little bit of shred, and then either you can put a treat or food in there. Um, just a fun little toy. My last video I talked about these cups with the straws, and I'll be putting this food filled with food in here. Um, mine absolutely love these so we always add these and in the middle I don't know if you remember from one of my pictures I have all of these cups and so then I added a little bit of shred and I'll fill it with food and this is how I fill it with food these are jewelry bead cups scoops my birds love them as foot toys but I also use these because they're fantastic to add into here And if you make a mess, I don't think anybody will mind. And I always try and hide the food under the shred. I put it between the cup and the noose, excuse me, and the napkin. Then I just kind of sprinkle it in after I've gotten everywhere I wanted it to go. I fill this up. I put a lot in here. Mine usually take about a week to go through it. Some of it I make real obvious. Others I do not. There was one other thing I did want to show you. If you decide you want to do anything upside down, because most of the time when I go through these, I anchor from the bottom through the tray and I put everything on top. Well, as we talked about in one of our last videos, you can't necessarily do that when you do the straws because you've already zip tied it right here. So now you have this tail. So what I normally do is do, then do everything backwards and I lace it through here. And then I put it in the hole as you can see, and at the back, then I find an anchor. And 
tighten it down. It all depends on which way you want to go. So now they have a fun toy. And I don't know if you can see this, but in between the loofah, there's holes. You can actually put seed down here, and they have to get through the loofah to go through it. Um, also, if you wanted to do cups, here's another fun way to do it. Um, I, again, laced this backwards, so the top of the zip ties up here. I beaded it, put an anchor up here for my vine ball, stuffed my vine ball. I do have some Nutriberries inside the vine ball. Um, then I did my cups, and now I'm going to put it on backwards. Now, as you can see, everything got squished in here. So now, again, I can place some seed or treats or pellets or whatever in here. And it's all set up. So now they have fun toys to chew on as well as to find food. If you have any questions about anything I did today, let me know. Otherwise, you guys all have a wonderful day.